Too much to pay. My family, my children, my mother can hold her head up in any neighborhood in the city where she walks down the block. See? In all the five boroughs, I'm known. Forget about it. I just wanted me a jump shot till I wanted me a dumb knot. Cop the ball us up in the awesome party with the last paycheck that McDonald's tossed me. I'ma run it up. Sting game, if it stop, get I'm running up. Dots throwing shots cause I'm coming up. 40 second hundred block, where it's going up. Go ahead with your plot if you dumb enough. What up, world? It's your boy, BA for Real 100, and welcome to Get Your Bars Up Media. Salute, salute, salute. Uh, so, we got a special guest in the building today. We definitely do. We definitely do. Representing that Midwest, one of the actual leaders of the Midwest when it comes to these battle rap leagues, making noise. Mr. Hitless Battle Rap himself. Ah! Deshaun, what's good with it, brethren? What's going on, big homie? What's going on with you? Hey, man, you know me. I'm just in the mix, man. I'm like, man, the, the, the Midwest right now, man, y'all making noise all over the place. And as far as leagues, that's outside of the URL and all of these other gigantic leagues, man, y'all been making some noise within the past year or so, bro. So what's good with that? Man, we just – um. first, let me say this. Shout out my partner, Swagger Don, who brought me in. As a partner, you feel me? If it wasn't for him, I probably I wouldn't even be here. I ain't gonna even say probably. I wouldn't I wouldn't be here. I'd be pushing my brother brand more than anything, who is IMR. Shout out IMRs. Um, my bro Swagger Don brought me in last year, had a couple of events. He let me get a feel for organizing my first event, January um 19th of last year. War ah, ready with card. Yeah. Mean card brought us to where we was getting a little bit of recognition. I think every battle, well, every main battle on that card did over 2,000 views or close to 2,000 views and better. Hey, but the cool. biggest the biggest accomplishment we got was the clean paper and dot everything battle. I think we had, I think we had 50,000 views with that one. That was a fire battle, by the way. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. So... Uh, Deshaun, what, what made you, uh, what brought you into battle rap? What made you say, all right, I'm going to actually start doing this and I'm going to do it from the, the, the league owner perspective. Well, um, I started out a battler. Oh. Um, a lot of people don't know that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. If, if y'all want to check that out, just type in low L O W versus Shona S H O N U F F. And it's a little clip been posted for a few years now, but, um, I took that battle, and if you do take a look at that clip, trust me, I did my thing. I got busy in that. Um, then I had my second battle in Atlanta, and my Ooh. second battle was actually so severe. Shout out so severe. So you feel so me? Severe. Atlanta in this thing, you know. Shout out Atlanta. Facts. Facts. Um, um, and at that time in my life, I was knee deep into a whole lot of other shit. I'm gonna just leave it at that. <laughs> you feel me? I was knee deep into a whole lot of other shit. Like that joint, okay? I was in, I was knee deep into a whole lot of other shit, man. And I wasn't really focused. And I didn't memorize my bars. I got up there and made myself look bad. So my brother was like, and I'm a man, bro. Like, I ain't ashamed to admit when I, you know, shit, he, he killed me because I killed myself. Definitely. I didn't have nothing to rebuttal back. So at that point, my brother was like, bro, I know you You can write. You, you're a good rapper. But if you ain't gonna take it serious, don't do it. Find another lane in it where you can stay in, in, in incorporated with it, but you don't have to actually battle. Cause you know, he was like, bro, you got a lot going on. Your family, your business, like you got a lot going on. So if you can't focus on this, don't do it to yourself. Cause you only gonna make yourself look bad. So I said, I know a better way to make myself look good. Once my partner came and hollered at me, we lit now, you feel me? It's hit list or nothing. Yeah, see, oh we, oh we, what like how was how was uh how was the hit list uh battle league created, bro? I don't repeat that again. I said how how was the hit list battle league created? It was actually created by my partner and one of his people, oh. but I don't think it was getting the traction he wanted it to get at that moment so whatever took place took place with that situation all i know is my dog called me because 
this is another funny thing, not to digress from what I was saying, nah, nah. but me and my partner was supposed to battle. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, like this is real true facts. Everything I'm telling you is true facts. Yeah, me and my partner, me and my partner Swag was supposed to battle, but instead of us doing that, he came at me like, look, bro, you know, I know you got a little bit of leverage in the game. You know a few people. I know a few people. Let's put it together and let's really push this. And like I told him, if we're going to do it, I'm all in. You feel me? What, what Nipsey said, all money in, bro. Like, it ain't no looking back. It ain't going to be no half-stepping. We're going to go at this. We're going to give it the best we got. And if we can't make it work, then we can't. At least we can say we tried at the end of the day. So, Definitely. Definitely. So I'm mad at it. Hey. Yo, uh, it's, it's wonderful when you can see two melanated beings, bro, like period, come together and actually create something as special as what you've created at Hitless Battle League. So I salute to you both, bro. Definitely. Yeah, we appreciate that, man. We just, we just trying to put ourselves in a position to let the game know, please take us serious. If we reach out to you, it's a serious inquiry. It's not for just shopping or to say I talk to something. You know what I mean? Like, we ain't on that. We ain't looking for no clout. We don't want none of that. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm going to get it out the mud type of person. That's where I come from. Thanks. You feel me? So, like, I'm used to grinding. I'm used to working for what I want. And like my mom always told me, anything worth having is worth working for. So oh, I'm going to oh, keep pushing wow. and making it do what it do. You feel what I'm saying? I'm going to keep pushing my partner to be the best him he can be. And I hope he keep continuing to push me to be the best me I could be in this. Definitely. Well, if you're breaking it down like that, no wonder your mom just had some bars. She just she had some bars right there. Shout out my mom. Rest in peace, Miss Francine Shannon. Hey, rest in peace. Rest in peace. Definitely. Um, so getting back into the, the, the Hitless Battle League as far as battles, man, which battle would you say Hitless Battle is your favorite of all time? It has it hasn't happened yet. Ah. Uh... You don't have you don't have like what are the top you don't got that at the top. I, I have them. I have them in my mind. Yeah, but they haven't happened. Yet. <laughs> you feel me? I hear what they coming saying. though. Don't get it twisted. They coming though. They definitely coming. Yeah, de definitely. So, for um, as far as far as history, man, um, have you um ha has Hitless ever thought about connecting with other battle leagues like? Your yeah, league versus another league? Man, that's like one of our biggest things to do because I feel like it's more important now than ever for us smaller leagues to start reaching out to each other and pushing each other's brand opposed to trying to push artists to gain notoriety for the brands. That's a fact. That's a fact. If that makes sense to any of y'all out there because that makes sense to me. So me and my partner, we just shopped it around though to a few people. We the holler that we go hard. Shout out my bro Steams over there. Uh, we the holler at the gate. Shout out to bro CeeLo Jersey. Shout out Dre Dennis. Like they got things going on. You know they just did the unity situation. So yeah, everybody got things going on. And then when you got URL co coinciding in an event with y'all, yeah, you don't want to take nothing. Just the way I see that. So and. And the way they set it up was dope. You know, the winners from those events get to eat the footage and drop the footage, do whatever they want. Like, that's dope. That's innovative. That be that's creative. And that also make these artists want to work for the leagues that's pushing them. And it also should make the um the leagues that's pushing these artists want to bring the caliber of penmanship to their leagues. Like, you want to push your guys to progress. And that's what I'm pushing all my guys for progression. And like I tell a lot of them, we're not there yet. Because if we was there, the world would let us know. So when the people start letting us know, then we would know. You feel me? We could say what we want all day. But until we validated by the people, we got to keep yeah. pushing. Man, that's, uh, that, that's, that's definitely real talk. Um, we So lately, man, in battle rap as a whole, we've had a situations. We ha we've had multiple situations happen to where you have a lot of battle rappers stepping out right now. Well, you have one in particular. And it's saying that uh, it's leagues not paying. How and uh, leagues are not treating battle rappers right. And, and hit list battle league, right? How do you treat your artists or the artists that come in? Should I say? 
I mean, if you asking me what you are asking me, uh, of course, I feel like I treat any and every artist, whether they roster or being paid to be booked or however it may go, like they're a platinum selling artist. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm doing business with you. I'm not, it, this is not a personal issue. This is not a personal situation. This is a contractual business obligation between you and me. So when artists like, when Moon showed up for my first event, Prez showed up for our first event, uh, Steam showed up, yeah. uh, who the fuck else? Dre Dennis showed up. It was five of them. Steams, Dre Dennis, Prez, Moon, and Clean Paper. Clean, yeah, clean, QP. Now, two yeah. out of those five are known for some bullshit. That's a fact. And this is no one's <laughs> business, but I'm gonna put it out there. I took care, I did my business with them on the strength. There was no paperwork, no nothing involved. So I could have got dubbed and got dubbed. It had just been, I see you when I see you, one of those situations. But God willing, it wasn't meant for it to come out, come about like that. Everybody showed up, everybody performed. If any, any of y'all in the battle rap that's checking this, this live stream out, go check out Hit List Battle League, look up Clean Paper vs. Dot Everything, Larry Bull vs. Prez Mafia, Black Fonz vs. Moon, I Am Mars vs. Steam, C Hit vs. Dre Dennis, and every one of those artists that I booked and paid to perform on that platform came and did their thing, every last one of them. That is a fact, and I, I, I vouch for that because I, I seen every single one of those battles, and when I say that every single one of those battles was, was, was heat, was heat, didn't know who or what Hit List Battle League was at all, at all. Got put on, ran across it, and I had to do my recaps on it, man. That the hey, 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 y'all got something over there, bro. You was one of the first ones to even speak on us. You feel me? All right, yeah, yeah. So but for you to do that, I, I I said, I told my partner, I say, I want to keep dudes like you. Shout out my dude Ledge Cold Pepper, top oh, tier man. podcast. Man, That's man. my guy. He That's pulled legend. up to that event. He reached, he actually reached out to me two or three weeks before the event, did the interview with me, then pulled up to the event with his wife. So, like, people like you and him, y'all are most definitely, y'all always welcome to attend. If y'all in the area can make it out, y'all is on us. You feel me? Y'all in there. You feel me? That's going to be that's gonna be to the day it ain't no more hit list, and I don't see that day coming no time soon. Hey, thank you, bro. You Like, people, like, could you explain to the people how difficult it is to to actually be a league owner. I mean, first of all, you got to start with your paperwork, your LLC, get that taken care of, making sure all your copyrights and all that is in order. Um, then you want to go to the next phase, which is a business account, because you 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 are becoming an, a corporation or whatnot. If it's not technically a corporation, but legally, that's what they will call you. Um, so you want to do your, your LLC first. You want to get your, your, um, your business accounts in order because it all makes sense. You got, you dealing with the IRS now. This is a whole nother ball game. Like <laughs> it's a fact. <laughs> you feel me? So you can't be throwing events, making money off these events and publicly showing them like you're going to get in trouble. Somebody's going to jail. <laughs> Somebody's getting audited. Something's gonna happen to somebody sooner or later. So those are the two most important things: LLC and a business account. Those are your two most important things because you you don't have to manually keep track. Your bank is pretty much gonna be what the hell is some people call your accountant? Your bank your bank is gonna be pretty much a free accountant for a while because why? It's gonna it's gonna track every trans transaction you make, whether you're making a deposit to an artist, whoop de woo renting cars, paying for flights. It, it keeps that in order for you so you don't have to physically and manually do that all the time. So that's the part I kind of appreciate from, that's the part of this shit I appreciate a little bit. Is that <laughs> one last thing as an owner I have to worry about because you got to think, I got to get up. Let's say I got 13 battles. Okay, let's, I, I am going to say this. In December, we got a card coming up. It's 13 battles. Six, six the first day, it's a two-day event. Six first day, seven the second day. Um, out of those 13 battles, half of the artists are getting paid. They get so, 
hit up, get emails, cash apps, whatever the situation, whatever I, uh, bank account information, like whatever it is, I have to get all this stuff. I have to get emails, send out contracts, get them to e sign the contracts, send it back to me, all of this. Like it's it's a whole process. Then outside of that, I still got to worry about a film crew, a production crew. I still have to worry about a venue, deposit, paying the venue. So like it's a lot that a movement that comes along with this. So don't think whatever smacking them did. Like when when they did it, they was fucking with Webster Hall. Yeah. They probably ended up having an agreement with them because they knew they could provide so many participants to come through that door. You understand what I'm saying? That's a fact. And that's where me and my partner are trying to get to. Like, where's a good venue that we can say that's our home? Because really, hit lists don't have a home. We everywhere. We go wherever the fuck we feel. <laughs> so, so this, so this next event that y'all are having in December, uh, where is that going to be located? Well, before I that one right. gonna be in Atlanta. That one gonna be in Atlanta. Yeah. But before we go to that one, we do got a card coming up next month. It's called the Double Entendre card. You feel me? Yeah. So stay looking out for that. If you're in the area, if you're in New York, pop up. We'll be in the Bronx with it. Ah. Go, to the hit list. go to the Hit List Facebook page. You will see the flyer posted up. Get the information. Pop up. Say you seeing this live, you get $10 off at the door. How about that? I'm going to repeat that again. <laughs> Say you saw this. Y'all hear that? It, Everybody that pop up to the event, 10, 10, 2020, say that y'all saw it. Y'all got to go to my man, go to get your bars up on YouTube, subscribe. Once you do that, let me know that you did that, or you can prove that you did that at the door. I take $10 off your admission. Hey, that's love. That's that's super love. Oh, somebody, somebody trying to- Let's get it. And you, Yeah, so y'all y'all heard that out there, right? Y'all heard that. This is Hitless Battle League. This ain't no little rinky, dinky, whatever. They got some hitters over there, man. Hey, baby, give me one second. I'm doing an interview. I'm going to call you right back, okay? All right. Sorry about that, Brandon. Oh, no, nah, you good, bro. You good, bro. But yeah, man, y'all y'all, y'all like, y'all subscribe to my man channel. You ain't even got to subscribe to Hitless. We appreciate if you did, but if you don't, just subscribe to Get Your Bars Up Media. Pop up at the Bronx, October 10th, you get $10 off at the dough. That's a big fact. That's the last time I'm going to say that. Ah, that's love. That's love, bro. Ah, make sure y'all subscribe to the Hit List Battle League. What I'm going to do at the end of, um, well, by the time this drops, is I'm going to put all the information in the description box. Make sure y'all click that link. They got some heat over there. They got some heat. They got some fire battles. You heard, they got QP. They got Dre Dennis. They got fire names over there representing. So make sure y'all support. If y'all support me, y'all know y'all got to support Hit List. Straight up. But with that being said, who, being, being, being the Midwest, being, being, being in the Midwest, um, who are, who is your Mount Rushmore of battle rappers in the Midwest of all time, bro? Four slots with an honorable mention. Uh, uh, you want top five or top ten? Oh, you you got ten, you got ten. On? Got 10. Hey, get what's There's no particular order though. So okay. whoever sees this, please don't take it no way. I'm just putting the names out there of the people that I feel are the top elite lyricists, artists, writers, whatever you want to call yourself, punchers, schemers. I don't care. My top ten list is what it is. It's just in no particular order. So please don't get offended. Shots fired already. I can see people throwing eggs already, but we'll get it. What, what's your top tip, Brethren? <laughs> well, we're going to start from the top, working our way down. Top 10. 10 will be, I will start with Marv. Nine will be Quest. Eight will be M-City. Yeah. Fire. Seven. <laughs> My nigga Piranha. <laughs> Shout out Piranha. Oh, Piranha Fire too. Six. I mean, this is no particular order. Yeah. But six, I will probably put my brother there. I am Mars. Mm -hmm. Five, I will do most likely Calico. Four, X Factor. Ooh. Three, JC. Ooh. Two, Ill Will. And number one spot, ain't nobody got that. Uh, <laughs> I can't get that to nobody. Ain't nobody got that chat in my book, man. 
<laughs> but if I had to put a name on it, it would definitely be Midwest Miles. Shout out to Pioneer and the OG who got the Midwest cracking, who got Detroit cracking with this battle shit. That's a fact. People for, why, why do people forget about Miles, man? Miles is like one of the forefathers of this shit when it comes to the Midwest. Well, him and a lot, of, a lot of people forgot about Miles because they feel like Miles didn't adapt to how battle rap changed. His format, his delivery, they just felt like he stayed the same, pretty much like how everybody feel about Cassidy. <laughs> Only difference is, you feel me, Miles don't give a fuck. So <laughs> I'm not mad at it. You feel me? Okay. It's one thing when you need a system to keep you alive, per se. He don't need that. He's solidified in my city. He can go do songs, features. You understand what I'm saying? Like, the wave is that now in Detroit. Definitely. definitely. So if you if you in battle rap music, I swear, like, I can go anywhere on my side of town of, with, with clean paper, and everybody fucking know him. But not just because of battle rap, though. That's the whole thing. It's not just because of the battle shit. So don't think people, well, I can't say that. Maybe outside another nigga city, but in my city, it's not that. It's, it's, it's just, that's just my city. If you in the music, you, trust me, if you into that shit, your shit, your shit circulating. Niggas gonna know who the fuck you is in my city. Uh, if you made any type of noise, niggas gonna know who you is. Man. You you just named some hitters, man. You just named some hitters. And speaking on um speaking on um a Marv One, man, what other battle rapper in the game has ever battled Eminem? Hmm. From Michigan? Or just in battle rap period? Just in battle rap period. Well, I, I would say for well, I know a lot of people probably battled him in Michigan back in the day, but what relevant name that's still out here circulating? Because Marv One's still None. circulating. None. Ooh. None. <laughs> Yo. Very few people can put that title under their belt. That's Just to say I battled him at some point. That's crazy, bro. I that and Marv one, we gonna get we get Marv one up here soon. So that ah, I can't wait to talk about that one. Ah. <laughs> yeah, that's the homie, man. Definitely, definitely. So when it comes to uh so we, we, we went over the top 10. Um, where do you see Hit List Battle League? Just just uh, saying that this corona thing passes over. People are coming to events again. Where do you see Hit List Battle League one year from today? That's a damn good question, B.A. I mean, in my mind, like, this is in my mind, people, so don't don't take this out of proportion. Man, talk your ish. Talk your ish, bro. <laughs> Where I see me and my partner company a year from today, I see us doing shit like Webster Halls and bigger venues. Like, I really do see that. Just, just off the way I move now. You understand what I'm saying? So the way I, the way I try to have me and my partner go about things, it's not always about it's not always about me making money or him making money or our company making money. It's not always about that with us. First and foremost, let's get that understood. We're pushing these artists to make it to bigger and better platforms because we know we're not that. We understand that, but don't get it twisted. We also understand that there's a possibility that we can be that. That depends solely on us, how we go about everything, from the day we said we got a business together. You understand what I'm saying? How we do business with the artists, do business with people at these venues, all across the board. So where we go from here is solely on me and my partner and the people who we're pushing to be better and be great at this, you feel me? But we encourage all of our artists, all of our artists, push for that next level, push for that bigger platform, push for them bigger looks, push to get these other leagues to pay you Facts. attention. Facts. We don't want to hold you stagnant. We don't want to hold you back. We don't want to hold you up. You understand what I'm saying? Because we don't want you to do that to us as, as businessmen, as, as league owners. We want y'all to be the best y'all every time you're booked to step on our platform or any platform. Be the best you at all times when you battle. That's a fact. That's a fact, bro. Speaking of us, speaking of the league, 
Uh, I don't know if you, if you can't say it, that's what's up, but I'm going to ask you anyway. <laughs> hey, um, man. Hey. So who are your top – who who are the top five hitters uh, from, from your league coming out that you want the world to see? Well, I'm sure Mark, you know everybody. Ace Vegas. Hmm. Young Dot. Um, dangerous, definitely yeah. dangerous. Dangerous is different. Like I, I really like his. I like his whole setup. Even though he's like a bigger dude, like a shotgun should big type nigga. He don't use the aggression and all that. Like you got to tune in to dangerous. Like I fuck with dangerous, and he he can rap. Yeah. Um, number five. Yeah. I would love to see, because my partner still got a love for battle, and he still battle. I would love to, I would put my partner there, because I would love for him to accomplish those goals if he still got them in his heart. You feel what I'm saying? Thanks. So, and he's definitely not one of those ones. December 10th, pop out. He's on the card as well. You feel me? He's in a two-on-two. -two. Yeah. So, like, we, we get it in over here. The owners get busy. You feel me? Yeah. If, if I really felt like battling a dude, I would take the battle. But it gotta be worth it. It makes sense to me. Definitely, definitely, man. So we, so we reached a segment of the show, uh, of the interview, should I say, where I, uh, I call this Tokyo ish. So, what, why is the Hitless Battle League one of the top battle leagues in the world? Because we, for one, we believe in the artists we stand behind. Ah. How the it ain't about us profiting off of their work because whatever money we make, it goes back into our events. This is how that works, period. Um, second of all, what make us, come on, man, look. Come on, man, look, I, I'm just, I'm lounging. Come on, man, you see the ah, yes. Come on, man, look at this, I'm comfortable. We comfortable, man. How? Like, comfortable. I smoke good, I'm, I'm comfortable. I do this because I love it. I do this because it's people that I'm close to that have a talent, but don't feel like they gonna ever, it's gonna take them longer to get the recogn recognition that they want out of this game. So if I can help speedball that, I'm all for it. I'm one of those, man, you feel me? That's all love. I'm gonna hold my people down the way they been holding me down, you feel me? I don't mind blowing a bag on seeing my company grow. I don't mind blowing a bag, seeing the artists that we're promoting to the world to, sure, to, to shine and flourish the way I want them to. You understand what I'm saying? Only way for them to get out there is to put them out there. And all our artists come outside. All yeah, of them. Yeah. You feel me? And another thing, don't don't get it twisted. We working on something right now with our partners um over in Australia. So we, we got some shit cracking. You feel me? <laughs> don't don't get it twisted, man. Yo. We 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 just don't, we, you know, we just don't like to throw, you know, throw it all out there at once. We like to get them, you know, get the people bits and pieces. Let them, let them, let them crawl up to this shit. That's you feel me? But when they get there, they ain't gonna want to go nowhere else. I promise you. But that October card, yeah, that's gonna be the prelude to what we doing in December. Hey, y'all, y'all got it. 10, 10, 20 in the Bronx, October tenth of this year in the Bronx. Double entendre is the name of the card. This will be fire. That's a big hey, big. It's uh, hey, it's, bro, hey, ba. When you see. When we get October out the way and you see this <laughs> yeah. motherfucking flyer yeah. for December. Yeah. <laughs> come on, man. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, man. You gonna make I, me fly I, out. You I, gonna I make just, me fly I out. I might just I just might sneak and inbox you the list. Oh I might just do that. Hey, you already know. Hey, hey, it's it's all hey, we, we don't give up the goods around here. So Go ahead and do but that. That, that fucking two day event in Atlanta gonna be bananas. Then after, then after that, we going to Cali in March of 2021. Ah, yeah, man, we working, man. We really working over here. Working. Oh, with that being said, man, that's my guy to shine putting it down, bro. Uh, tell the people where they can find you as well as find as well as find Hitless Battle League. You can look up my Instagram, Deshaun Ben up on Instagram. Uh, Deshaun Mitchell on Facebook and Deshaun pop off on Twitter. You feel me? Wow. I don't really be on the Twitter too much no more, but the Instagram and the Facebook, I'm always on those, man. 
You feel me? Stay promoting the brand. Stay promoting these other artists, even if they not from our league. Stay promoting these other leagues. You feel me? I'm with all that. I go and watch battles from all over. All over. <laughs> Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard it here, man. And uh, before we even get up out of here, um, I just want to say, man, yo, thank you for what you're doing for the culture and thank you for keeping us together and keeping us engaged because without ownership like yourself, um, ownership with, like, it's a lot of owners out here where a lot of battle rappers are unhappy. So what you and your partner are doing right now, incredible, incredible and special. And I just want to say keep up the hard and great work, bro. Thank you, definitely. Oh, uh, man, I, I want to also say, man, I appreciate you for reaching out. I appreciate you for following us from day one. I appreciate you for even allowing me to step on your platform and talk my issue, feel me? This was a blessing inside of a blessing. So it don't get no better and it don't get no realer. And I also want to say this to you artists that always feel some type of way about who names on the bottom of the card. Let me just say this. Somebody fucking name got to go down there, okay? That shit's not a big fucking deal. <laughs> Somebody fucking name got to go. Hey, you know what I just told my partner? And if I catch one of y'all stealing my idea, it's going to be a problem. But from now on, we're going to start doing our shit from the bottom up. Main events and shit going on the bottom of the card. Now, who the fuck has, what you going to say? Your main event on the bottom of the card? We're going to gonna keep changing the game. Nah. So now ain't nobody got to worry about being the, the main events, co-main events, all that shit to be on the bottom of the card. Hey, hey yo, hey. Y'all heard it here. Y'all need to stop biting. Y'all need to come Put up and be complaining out here, man, and work. Work. Hello. Work. Hello. Work. You see my God, my God is shining out here moving. He out here moving, him and his partner, putting his league and his team on. And this ain't just about cash. This is about love and actually going and elevating and evolving the people around them, period. That's how you run a business, y'all. I definitely... I definitely just want the people I do business with, which everyone that I've done business with, they have never had nothing bad to say. You never, you don't, you don't, you don't, God damn. Somebody trying to call me, my bad. If, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't come at people the right way the first time around, it's going to always leave a bad taste in their mouth. So it's going to be hard to come back from that, especially when you're dealing with niggas from the street. Y'all got to remember, most of the fans from Battle Rap is niggas from the hood. Right. We not talking about pop culture. This is rap, hip hop, hood, nigga shit. You understand what I'm saying? So you got to treat the people right. I'm a firm believer. I grew up in the 80s. The customer is, I'm not going to say always right, but your business is appreciated to the point where we got to make it right for all parties involved. So we not going to be wrong. You not going to be wrong. We just going to figure it out. You feel me? So be looking out for that October 10th card. Be looking out for the video on demands. Hit list is also about to start doing video on demands on all battles, on all events. It's definitely going down. My daughter mom keep trying to call me right now. I'm calling her <laughs> phone, though, from my other phone. So, yeah, yeah man, like, I just want to keep working. I just want to keep pushing. I just want to be great at this. You feel me? And I feel like I'm already on the right path. You know, I'd have had a couple of the, of the top artists reach out and say, dog, what you doing? I can see how you moving. I can see where you want to go. And if you keep pushing like that, you're going to get there. You got to remember, not every battle league wants to really grow. They just, and I noticed this, and, and a lot of these leagues don't really want to grow, bro, but they want to have enough fan base to where they can always bring in and present new talent. I want to do that, but I also want us to grow because I believe when you when you book certain artists and you got certain people on the card, the venue have has to. It's like it's like wearing an outfit. It's like putting an outfit together to me. So like when I dress, bro. Yeah. yeah. When I put my card together, the venue got to match the card. Oh. If the venue match the card, the production got to match. You understand what I'm saying? Talk and so on. forth and so forth with me. That's how I structure. And put my shit together. I'll be up there in like 10, 15 minutes. I'm almost done, baby. All right. <laughs> Y'all listening to the There's my daughter, mom, man. Like, you feel me? I'm one of those, man. Like, I'm I'm out here with my kids. I take care of my, you know what I mean? Like, this ain't that, man. You feel me? We don't do no bum shit. 
If I call you to book you, I'm I'm really interested in booking you. If Swagger Don hits you up to book you, he's really interested in booking you. And if you don't believe my word, you don't believe my partner word, well, let me give you a few names you can reach out for because I already I already spoke on them before. You'd have seen them on our – you go check out our interviews. You see who we interview on the type of artist. We, come on, man. Like, we on some different shit already. So you you if you win the game, if you know any of those niggas, themes, moon, prayers, Dre, yeah. clean, any of those dudes, ask them about low, ask them about swagger Don. Definitely ask them about hit list, and they're gonna give you 100 percent accuracy, man. They're gonna tell you, man, hey, them niggas over there are real. You're gonna get your money, you're gonna get your footage out, and everybody gonna be happy. We don't yeah. bought footage over here. I don't give a fuck what you niggas do. If you come fucked up, you come half ass, you gonna look bad. We don't bought footage. So yeah. you battle over here, you ain't got to worry about that footage not coming out because it will be. Ah, uh, rain, sleet, and snow. Ah! That's a fact. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, thank you, Deshaun, man. And uh, we're definitely, uh, I'm definitely going to um, continue to cover y'all because, like I said, y'all, y'all, y'all doing big things in the Midwest. Y'all keeping things together up there and not just in the Midwest. Now y'all traveling around. So, we definitely going to stay followed and tuned up with you, bro. Damn, I got to find that bitch. Oh, for sure, man. And I promise you, man, sometime next year, 2021, man, we're going to bring it closer to Washington, man. We got you. Hey, hey, we got some hitters out here, too, that 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 we we definitely would like to go against that 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 that, that Midwest that you're talking about right now. Okay, man. You know, we got some guys, man. You feel me? Yeah. We, we got some shooters now. Hey, yo. <laughs> We, they, we we got niggas that carry ARs over here. We got niggas that carry revolvers still. You know, I'm one of them revolver type niggas. I want to blow you through the coat. I don't even want to pull my strap. But while you reaching, I'm leak. You leaking. You feel me? I come from that era. So, yeah, that way. So you come over to hit list, man, looking for a fight. Just know you're going to get one, man. Definitely. Well, everybody, you heard. Oh. Let me get this off. Nah, is, talk, is, talk. is it over with? No, no, no. This Battle League also will be starting our website where we will be advertising our Patreon where you could purchase certain packages that will include certain things. Once we get the website to where we want it, you can log on to www.hitlistbattleleague.com. Look at those Patreons. They come with different packages. The higher up you go, the better the perks would be. Free admission, plus ones, which it, you feel me? So, Tune in, man. We working over Patreon. here for show, for show. Patreon. I'm gonna be one of those Patreons too. I got you. I'm definitely gonna okay. support that. I'm definitely gonna support that, bro. Get that out quick. Whenever y'all can, get that out. <laughs> he. But anyway, appreciate you, bro, bro. Hey, I appreciate you too, bro. And salute to y'all out there that's been watching and walking with us. Salute.